Hi there, it's Audrey, and I wanted to share with you what I am making today for, um, uh, for dinner tonight. And it's super economical. This is a soup that I like to make any time of year because it's very fresh with the toppings that you can add on. And I just, overall, I love black bean soup. So I just thought I would bring you over to my kitchen counter here. And um, I'm going to turn the camera down. And what you're going to see is that I already have uh, one and a half cups of, I don't know if you can see that here, um, one and a half cups of celery, carrots, and onions already sauteed. And I'm going to add in three cloves of minced garlic because garlic gets a little bitter if you cook it too, too long. I've got one and a half teaspoons of thyme. I've got some fresh oregano from my garden, uh, black pepper and cumin that I'm throwing in here, and three bay leaves. Um, then the next thing I've got here is um, organic chicken broth. Um, we are going to put in 10 cups. I'm just adding this now because um, it's been cooking a while and I don't want the, the onions and carrots to add on. But let me get, I've got one pound of, of um, black beans that I have soaked. And this is the part that requires some planning. You've got to remember to soak these overnight and it's really inexpensive for a dollar, you could probably get uh, black beans. You could actually do this black bean cans as well. You're just going to use less um, broth later on, but that works out to about four cups of, of beans that have been soaked. It might be three to four cans is what I'm guessing. And then the other thing I'm going to add is um, about half a can of tomato paste or four tablespoons is what it works out to. Now all of these together uh, along with 10 cups of the chicken broth, I'm just going to keep adding this. Um, that is, you know, it's pretty simple. It, what's time consuming is the remembering to soak the beans and the other uh, part that is time consuming is I've got one and a half cups of onion, so basically a whole onion, finely diced. I've got one and a half cups of, um, of the uh, celery, one and a half cups of carrots. So there's a little bit of chopping, like probably you're going to spend about 10 minutes chopping everything and then probably measuring out. But this is like kind of one of those... Um, you know, now, now I'm going to leave it and let it cook for a while. And uh, these are these containers are four cups each. So I'll add one more a little bit later. But what I'm going to do is I am going to... Hi, Rose. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook, and then when it's done, I will end up pureeing, like with the immersion blender, I'm going to end up pureeing the soup and um, I will dress it with fresh lime and fresh cilantro, which is really good. And uh, you know, you can have it any time of the year. And then what I will also do is I'm going to freeze uh, the remaining um, stuff. So on a weeknight where it's, you know, I'm really busy, I can go ahead and just uh, have planned leftovers. So I will post the recipe down below. And, um, you know, this is going to be ready after about, um, I don't know, let's see, what does the recipe say? I think it's about uh, two hours when the beans are soft. Um, so I will post that and I'll probably post another picture about what it looks like afterwards and like how I use the immersion blender. That immersion blender is a wonderful tool to have um, to really uh, get your your soup in a nice consistency. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will post the recipe down below. Bye-bye.